Okay, hello again. We're looking at uh, what we need to do when we get the truck going. So, first we start the truck. And we're going to look at the fuel systems, particularly. So if we look over here in the corner, we have a little blue dial. And it's... We'll shut that off. Okay, a little blue dial. It's got a Prince little... Um, logo and it's flashing white right now that means that the truck is running on normal gasoline and it's going to keep doing that until it's warmed up enough and the systems are all set up so that it can run on propane so that will happen when uh, or you'll know you're on propane when the uh, print stops flashing it will be steady white notice there's a little uh, symbol at the bottom of that dial and uh, that's to tell you that you can shut off the whole propane system if you want and just run on gasoline anytime as you're driving um, the other thing to note also is when you shut off when the system shuts off because it's been um, out of fuel you fill it up again and, but the system will be off so when you get it going you have to start it by hitting the button once and then it will go through its warming up system and it's warming up but it's also just um, going through its checks so it should take a couple of minutes and I'm not sure exactly what well, we'll see with the uh, how long the video runs here how long it takes uh, the other thing I want to talk about is how much uh, propane we've used and okay there you go it's steady so now boom we're uh, burning propane so uh, we'll go through the numbers a little later on anyway right now it shows that we're running on propane everything is good the other thing we found is that uh, when we're running on propane we actually get a little better mileage than when we're running on gasoline and uh, every uh, everything I've researched so far it says that it's cleaner for the environment it's better for the engine because less residue so uh, and we save a ton of money so we're happy uh, yeah okay that's it for now and uh, more later thank you hi Steve here we're going to talk about uh, the fuel cost uh, associated with running the truck on propane or I should say the fuel savings so we got the uh, truck converted uh, around the 10th to the 12th of May this year and between uh, the 10th of May to the 10th of July we filled it up 11 times and the Phillips the most we put in was 97.7 liters uh, it's a hundred 120 liter tank it's a donut tank that sits under uh, the truck where the spare wheel used to be so now our spare wheel is stored somewhere else we put it in the back of the pickup actually uh, but it's 120 liters and because it's propane you can only fill up to 80 percent so that should be 96 liters uh, then somebody explained to me you can get a little more a little less than 96 depending on the temperature because the gas uh, compresses uh, when it's uh, cold or expands when it's warm so anyway most we got was 97.7 liters and uh, then some other fills uh, we weren't quite empty so we put in 59 liters for example okay the big difference when we fill up propane is the price um, now gasoline is regulated to such an extent where and there's a lot more competition so people tend to have the same prices pretty well uh, throughout each province uh, you'll go to Alberta and uh, gas is much cheaper there because they have less taxes on it uh, but you go to um, uh, Quebec you have a uh, quite a bit of taxes on it and the prices are a little higher for propane everybody that supplies propane does their own thing and uh, we've been dealing uh, with a company called Sonic Sonic propane and uh, what they do 
is they provide propane to other people and then people sell them. So they'll they'll sell the propane to a company maybe for 55 cents a liter and then the company will go ahead and sell it for a dollar a liter. So they make a lot of profit. But uh, when we fill up at Sonic, we get the lowest price we got was 74 cents a liter. And uh, so this is a lot better. And that's the best price we got from all the places. The most expensive when we filled up was in Nova Scotia in Yarmouth. We filled up at the home hardware and that was $1.35 a liter, which is almost twice what we paid uh, with Sonic, which is in Quebec. So there's not a lot of taxes on propane uh because i guess whatever they, they, and i'm not complaining i like the fact that there's not a lot of taxes on propane but even in quebec do you see different prices different stations where you go so what i did is for every fill that we did i figured out okay we put in uh, 91 liters of propane at such a price and then i go and find out uh, uh, from a gas station close by how much would it take to fill up with the uh, Supreme gas because that's what we put in the truck for gasoline and then I said okay 91 liters at for example two dollars and forty cents would be so much money we paid so much money for the 91 liters of propane so therefore we save that much money so I added all those up during the two months uh, what we did uh, and we didn't do a lot of uh, driving we uh, did a lot of camping with family in Nova Scotia and then we came back to Quebec uh, driving through New Brunswick was a little uh, tough to get some propane because there are not a, not a lot of stations where you can fill up so we had to drive with gasoline part of the way but anyway so we filled up and we figured that with the 11 fill ups that we did we saved a thousand thirty two so the whole conversion cost us seventy three hundred dollars plus tax okay so you add that up and uh, I'm not even sure what the total is with tax but so far we've saved a thousand thirty two and somebody said that when we uh, were investigating this they figured that we'd get our money back within two years I think we'll get our money back in about a year, especially if we start traveling, which we are planning on doing some traveling this winter. Um, just in case you're not aware, we got this truck camper especially to do winter camping. And this winter we're planning on uh, going through the states, Utah, Idaho, different places, and then uh, spending the winter in Alberta, British Columbia, out west and then coming back to Quebec in the uh, spring. Uh, we like doing uh, cross-country skiing, so we need snow for that, so no uh, going south for us. And uh, the truck camper is very good for that, so we're quite happy. Okay, so during the two-month period, we put in a total of 887 liters of propane, and that cost us $984. We put in 145 liters of gas, and that costs us $314. So if you calculated um, based on the average, it turns out that the propane costs us about $1.11 a liter, and the gas costs us average $2.17 a liter. So right there you see a benefit of uh, just burning propane. Another big benefit of burning, running on propane is it pollutes less. Uh, one website in Canada uh, that promotes a vehicle running on propane says you reduce by about 95% your emissions. So uh, you would think the government would be interested in that. But uh, I sent emails to the federal government and the provincial government. I got an answer from the provincial government saying, oh, great job converting that but we're not really interested in individuals uh, reducing their carbon footprint we're really going after industry because that's where we're going to meet our targets all right uh, thank you very much and uh, but at least I got an answer from the provincial government I never got an answer from the federal government uh, what else was I going to say okay 
So anyway, we'll keep tracking these expenses and we'll see how much we save. But, um, you know, I think that within a year we'll have paid for our conversion to propane. And I think we're going to see benefit also in the wear and tear on the engine. Because it's a cleaner fuel, you get less damage to the engine and uh, the oil doesn't get so dirty. So we're still going to do the maintenance at uh, suggested intervals for in order to keep our warranty uh, in good order because uh, that's one of the reasons why we got a brand new truck is uh, so that uh, if something goes bad we go to the warranty so uh, excuse me anyway I think that's about it uh, if you wish uh, write down in the comments if you want more information about every uh, individual uh, you know fill up and how much we saved um, we're, uh, I think that running on propane is a really good idea and uh, why not it uh, you know running uh, an RV is expensive but it's quite worthwhile and if you could do it uh, by saving money why not uh, the price of gas has actually gone down recently uh, since uh, you know it was way up in uh, June July but uh, you never know what it's going to do and in any case the price of propane drops down as well when the price of gas drops down so you just got we've got to keep track of where we go which stations are worthwhile and we'll see uh, how much money we can save we also uh, are a member of the sonic card and we can go to their member stations and run the card and it automatically gets billed back to Sonic, which sends us a bill a month, once a month. And we pay the best price that Sonic has instead of paying the local price that the station. So I think this is all worth it. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. And uh, look forward to your comments. If you have any questions, I will answer them to the best of my knowledge. And uh, if I need to find the answer, I'll go and dig it up. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.